Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick Terrio and today we have one of the, probably your favorite series, which is me just reacting to some ads. Today we're gonna be focusing specifically on clothing ads. So ads in the clothing and apparel niche. And yeah, so make sure to like button, hit the subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you're curious what I do, I run a Facebook ads agency. If you're one of the first people watching this, you know, video and uh, done over $60 million in online revenue with Facebook ads. So click links below for you know, how to get me to run your ads or how for me to mentor you in that case right there. So let's just dive into it. Got um foreplay open right now. And uh, so we're in foreplay. This is one of my favorite tools just to discover new ads. Basically has like a discovery feature to where you can see every single ad from the foreplay community. So if you're an advertiser and you get a foreplay account and you save an ad, um, it'll add it to the foreplay library of every single ad on the marketplace. Okay, and then you also have your own library with your own ads that are saved as well. Now, it won't, doesn't tell you who saved it, so don't worry about any like confidentiality, any, like, anything like that. Um, you'll be safe behind there, so. But I niched it down today. We got fashion, platform, specifically Facebook, language, English, and status still running. So that way, we can make sure that we see what has been running the longest. And in fact, actually, let's let's do that. Let's do longest running and let's see how that works right there. Okay. So again, just fashion. I'm not really sure what happens here, but we'll see. Okay. Blitzy. This looks like a pillow. Yeah. So this is a pillow. Okay. It's not fashion. Oh, Levi's. Okay, cool. Let's see what Levi has right here. Okay. This is very kind of like old school vibes, which Levi is kind of old school in that case. Showing a younger generations. Yeah, cool. I mean, it doesn't speak to me at all, but obviously I'm not the ideal customer for Levi. It's definitely giving me more like, like, I don't know, like I'd say teenager vibes teenager vibes for a very specific type of persona right here and it's also going through and just i i, I don't really know like the scenery right here i, I can't even say like how to partake it <laughs> what the scenery is giving me the vibe of because i really can't like <laughs> articulate that okay so yeah very weird vibe from uh levi's but hey it's it's one of the longest running ones so that's cool all right uh, PlayStation, we know you're not a clothing ad. I've already done our face and stuff a few times, but let's see if this is the same one. I want to say this is the same one. We'll watch it. Oh, no. Yeah, this is the same one. I, I don't want to go through it. I've already done our face one. I think like actually twice now. Okay. All right. Universal standard. Let's see what you got. Okay. So this is a very aware ad. What does that mean? This week only bundle and save when you layer up basically it just means is that like an aware ad speaks to people who are already aware of the brand they're already sold on the brand and everything like that it's just targeting people and let them know hey we know you're already price sensitive here's 50 percent off right now okay that's it so what i like about this ad is that it's showing a lot of different personas here it's not showing one specific persona it's showing quite a variety of personas why do i like that because in that case it's speaking to more people that they know or their customer personas. Because if you're at an aware stage, you don't want to be testing many personas at this age, but you more just want to speak to the personas that you already have now that you know are part of the brand. And let's let's talk to all of them. And that's what they're doing. They're showing a variety of different body types, ethnicities, and stuff like that, just to speak to a lot of variety of people. So perfect for dressing up, dressing down, showing off some of the versatility here. Perfect for tucking in, tucking out. Yeah, versatility. So yeah, we have a lot of versatility. We cater to a lot of different people. And you, right now you get 50% off. Great. Cool. Universal standard. Nice. All right, let's keep scrolling down. Actually, I did figs already. So I don't need to do figs. What is pup socks? Interesting. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's do that. It's fashion, I guess. Okay, so reaction. Okay, so just a simple reaction, which I wouldn't really say that reaction is that great. It's just more just like, ha, ah, that's it. Put your pups on your socks. That's cool. So grab their attention of like what the hell this is. And then we articulate them to them 
the mechanism right here, which is put your pop on your socks, which is the mechanism and the benefit of it. Cool. Also, I honestly feel like you probably could just run this as a static image because this just, I don't know. I feel like if I watched this for the first time, it's like, what, what is this? Which, hey, that's probably why it works so well, because again, we're sorted by the longest running. So be more stuff that's likely to work. If I'm more like, hey, what's going on here? Stuff like that. That's going to make me want to watch the video and actually see like what's happening. Okay, cool. Here is Narface one that I know I haven't seen. Yeah, because I already watched that one. Let's do this one. Okay, I love this because it's definitely an unaware ad. It's not necessarily selling Narface, but it's talking about a core value. It's it's reaching an unaware audience, okay? It's reaching a specific audience based off the people, what they believe, what they want to be seen as, who they are and stuff like that. And it's also catering to a specific identity here, all right? It's not showing a guy in a studio just talking. It's showing a guy actually doing what you know, mountain climbing and stuff like that. And he's wearing North Face, okay? So it's further in showing that, hey, it's not just a fashionable look good, it actually does perform too. And look at the crazy conditions that we're in as well. You know, we're climbing freaking mountain right here. If I trust it in a mountain, then it's likely good. So that's good, good stuff, North Face. So this is a carousel, definitely just giving some very nature vibes can't really say anything else got 41,000 likes on it so it's obviously works get comfy for our best-selling soft warm recycled cotton hoodies and track pants and celestial blue yeah cool it's obviously working but yeah it just doesn't really have any you know i'm not like oh my god i need that all right ah so this is some type of suit and stuff it's actually really cool because this is, I'm pretty sure that's Obama right there, which, you know, if you're outside of the USA, that's one of our, our was was one of our presidents. Mask made by doctors fit for a president. Oh, I thought this was a suit ad. Wow. Okay. So I completely thought this was a suit ad until I read this. Okay. Here's why that's a problem. Because I completely looked at the suit. It was like, this is a suit ad. I didn't even think about the, the mask right here. So obviously, look, it's been working. 386,000 likes. But I feel like calling out that it's a mass <laughs> would have just been a lot better. You know, something in that creative right there to call out the mask. All right, let's look. Uh, I did squish in one of, um, let's see, signature faucets. Okay, that's not even clothing. Ooh, what's woven? Okay, girl working out. Stretching. Okay, so we're not speaking to bodybuilders. We're speaking to more, you know, flexibility, more appropriate Okay, cool. So definitely like speaking to like yoga girls in a way. Yoga girls. That's what I would say. Doing a few different yoga positions. And again, we're not speaking to runners. We're not speaking to, you know, uh, bodybuilders. We're not speaking to CrossFitters. We're speaking to yoga people. I love this. Really good ad. A uh, couple different things you have to look at here. Okay. So this is one thing in clothing is that you have to like... The model you choose has a substantial impact on success with clothing, okay? If you have a model that just doesn't look good at all, like, hate getting into that, but like, if she just doesn't look good or he doesn't look good, that'll break, okay? You have to pick a model that people are specifically to either attracted to or want to look like, okay? So this represents right here, in a way, a level of what girls want to look like and what guys are into, okay? So that's going to do substantially better than showcasing someone that just, I don't know, doesn't really look good, okay? They're not really that attractive, not really appealing, okay? And that's just the reality of advertising, okay? Every single ad test we've ran from more attractive person, it always performs significantly better than a person less attractive, okay? So first person is who do they who do they want to look like who do they want to be seen as who do they want to like what they believe about themselves all of those key things right there that's what we want to look at and that's what we're doing right here with this particular girl okay and then obviously it's showcasing the versatility i mean not the versatility the um the variety of products as well which is really good it's not just showing one product it's showing a variety of products okay so very good ad by wolven let's see it looks like we'll have 
room to do about another one or two. Let's see what stance is. Okay, so I'm not a basketball guy, so I'm going to assume that maybe this particular guy right here is a basketball star, and that's what made this ad work, or I just don't really know. I don't care for it at all, to be honest. I have zero clue about the clothing and stuff like that. Let me just see, like, what's, what's the body copy on here? All right, there we go. Donovan Mitchell. Okay, cool. So they're purely losing... Um, purely leveraging this guy's authority to position their product as like, hey, it's trusted by, you know, an NBA star, okay? So they're using his authority to sell the ad, okay? One way to strike a high-level authority or high-level belief is just by showcasing someone with high level of authority in your product or saying a particular statement. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes some of these ads need a little bit more context for me to uh, like make decisions on. All right, we got Man Club here. Oh, man cub. Okay. Man cub. Did you know when you buy from man cub, you're supporting a small independent business? Our owner, Dominique, that's me. Packs order personally. Ah, okay. So is this like, I feel like this is one of those, you know, like boxes where it's like, I got to check this out. What, what is this? Come on. Come on. We're not time here. Okay, so obviously you buy, whatever you buy, it gives you matching. That's actually cool. I dig that. That's pretty cool. Okay, so whatever you buy, it gives a matching for your son or, you know, daughter or whatever. That's cool. I dig that. All right. Now, this is definitely very product aware. What, what does that mean? Product aware is when you're trying to still build trust and proving superiority over your competitors. So they're just trying to showcase something interesting about them to separate from the competitors okay this is also really cool and also to them matching the same outfit it's just from an emotional side it's very feel good style ad um cute in a way because you could say like that that's what's allowing people to be like hey cool what is this and then they want to check it out so very cool good job man cup cool yeah, I know we didn't go super crazy today, but that's all I have time for today. Definitely drop some links or comments below with what you guys want to see more of because I'd, I'd love to do these ad reviews and stuff like that. I know it helps provide a lot of ideas for you guys. Um, this one was definitely requested from episode, whatever episode was last. But yeah, drop some comments below with what, what specifically you want me to do reviews on, what type of ads, and um, definitely every episode will start having more of a theme now. So uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button for new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.